20 million people died defeating that son of a bitch, and he's our first ambassador to outer space. Actually, the Hitler the broadcast, broadcast the, the first... The broadcast in the 36th Olympics was the first television transmission of any power that went into space. That they recorded it and sent it back is simply a way of saying, hello, we heard you. Or Sieg Heil, you're our kind of people. Wait I don't minute, think so. Wait a minute. Hitler and his politics have nothing to do with this. I mean, it's highly unlikely that they would understand what they were looking Excuse at, me, and people I... need to understand the science. The people <laughs> are in very good hands, Dr. Arroway. We'll take it from here. The White House has just released a statement confirming that a message of unknown origin emanating from deep space. This is the product of years of exploration by some of the world's most distinguished scientists. Like all discoveries, this one will and should continue to be reviewed, examined, and scrutinized. It must be confirmed by other scientists. Its implications are as far-reaching and awe-inspiring as can be imagined. Even as it promises answers to some of our oldest questions, it poses still others even more fundamental. We will continue to listen closely to what it has to say as we continue the search for answers and for knowledge that is as old as humanity itself, but essential to our people's future. Thank you. Sir, Mr. President, I'll answer well, your questions at the end, but first, a few corrections. So the message was received Friday morning, 6.31 a.m. Mountain Standard Time. It was largely mathematical, and in spite of the reports that you may have seen to the contrary, appears to be completely benign in nature. Let me say that again. The message is completely benign. The president has been in touch with heads of state from around the world, and every possible security measure is being taken. To better explain to you the events of the last 48 hours, I'm turning you over to the leader of the scientific team that made this remarkable discovery, Dr. David Drumlin, Special Science Advisor to the President. All right, as you'll see, interlaced with the frames of the original Hitler image, we found these sections. Now, we, we, we thought they were just noise, but they're actually data, huge amounts of it. Now, when we combine this with the data from the amplification of the original signal, we get these encrypted pages of text. Now, no two are alike, and we've uncovered over 10,000 already. What does it mean, Doctor? Well, we have no idea. It could be anything. It could be uh, the first volume of an Encyclopedia Galactica. Instructions to acquaint us with their colonization procedures. Moses with a few billion new commandments. How long will it take to decode it? Oh, it could take forever. Well, we really need a primer up. This we really need to get the best to... decryption people we have. I intend to use the VLA as my command post. In the meantime, my office is made out of preliminary budget. Well, wait a minute. Uh, this is a privately funded operation. Uh, uh, we're only leasing Dr. this Arroway. time from the government. If there's a more clear-cut case of eminent domain, I've never seen it. I'm going to recommend to the president that we militarize this project immediately. What? This is my project. I, I, nobody knows more about these scenarios than I do. David, Ellie, tell them how many years that I've been working. Excuse me, could we it. calm down here? Now, I'm going to recommend that Dr. Drumlin administer and coordinate the decryption effort. However, in light of Dr. Arroway's long experience in these matters, for the time being, she will continue to direct operations at the VLA with the express understanding that any future discoveries will be kept in the strictest of confidence until such time as the president can decide the most suitable course of action. Understood? <laughs> 